Yeah, it's going to be another exciting race. That first one, plenty of action, three incidents. No, uh, uh, no decisions made on those three incidents that we saw in race one, but uh, still under investigation at the moment. And this grid uh, just keeps going on and on. Drew Ridge was one that was involved, so he's starting in uh, position 19 back there. The two unfortunate people that lucked out in that, or, sorry, the, were the unfortunate, uh, oh, sort of on the re receiving end, was Stephen Johnson, who's going to be starting right back down the grid. So it's going to be exciting seeing him, as well as Glenn Seaton coming back through the field. Damon Strong one, Strongman, sorry, another one in there that uh, that was tied up in one of those accidents down at Turn 7. And we should point out that Stephen Johnson, Glenn Seaton and Leanne Tander are the invited drivers here to race this weekend. Here is Stevie on board car 17 and he's going to start way down. He was a non-finisher with uh, accident damage. He was kind of the innocent bystander in a whole pile of stuff that was going on. He's waving away, so we might have a chat to uh, Stevie J at some stage during the day but we've also got another one wired up for sound. We had a chat to him earlier on and it wasn't going well. Glenn Seaton, you've got the shades on now. You are meaning business. I'm looking forward to this race because I'm a long way back and I can only go forward. So it should be a challenge. Now you got involved in a little bit of a touch up in the first race with the driver who was trying to get on by. Was there a meeting in the pit lane afterwards? No, it's all right. Mate, I'm, a, I'm an easy racer and um, We'll just get on with it. And like I say, we've got plenty of races throughout the year to race in. And um, no, I'm just looking forward to the challenge in this one. And like I said earlier, they're, they're actually great fun cars to drive. I remember when we first picked up Aaron's car from the Skyfleet Toyota and took it just back home and how much an enjoyable car they are to drive. And they like that on the racetrack as well. So I'm really enjoying the challenge. Now your young bloke, Aaron, great name by the way, uh, starts from position five. What tips has he got for you? Anyone would think it should be going the other way around. Well, he's been bagging me all weekend for being so slow. So I can't give him too many tips at all. The only thing I could give him tips with is he didn't quite get as good a start as he should have. And I got a reasonably good start. So I tried to give him a few tips in that area. Right, OK, we'll ask him how that goes. Just before you go, smile for the camera, wave to make sure that you know what you're doing. Oh, you're a crazy man. He's, gonna have, <laughs> he's having way too much fun. Go and concentrate on the job, Cito. So he's starting from a bit further back in the pack. Position 25. It's so good to have the two-time V8 champ and the V8 Hall of Famer with us here, Glenn Seaton, having these names here, not just to race themselves, but they're here to help the young drivers, help the new drivers to the category. Uh, I'm not sure that digging Glenn in the door was the best sort of help that some of them could have done in race one. Uh, but we use this full grid, 38 cars. It's the first round of five for Toyota Racing Series this year with the 86s. Uh, Sydney Motorsport Park, Sandown, Bathurst and Sydney Olympic Park. So it's five rounds, 15 races. There's $125,000 on the line to win this series this year. There are plenty of incentives. And there are a lot of people who've decided... This is too good an opportunity to pass up. You've got to be here. And I've got a funny feeling that from what I've seen this weekend, the Toyota uh, the paddock area has been full of people who are sussing out what are we going to do to get into this action for round two later in the year? Yeah, you can be, uh, you can be pretty sure that this championship is going to go from strength to strength. 38 cars on the grid this weekend. I wouldn't be surprised to see even more, especially Bathurst. Everyone, everyone wants to race at Bathurst. So jump on board with Stephen Johnson. Cool, calm and collected. Waiting. Well, he doesn't, sorry, he doesn't have to wait very long. Seeing as he's starting way back in, uh, God, where is he? P33. 33. He's uh, P nowhere is P probably nowhere. the best start. <laughs> if, if you've got to start it with a three, it's a long, long way back. So we've got the full field ready to go again. Cam Hill, the red number triple one car on pole, won the first race from pole position. Tim Brook alongside. David Cedars and Will Brown on road two. Aaron Seaton and Luke King. A lot of young guns. Gary Holt, the veteran. He starts from seventh. Let's see if he can make his way forward. Revs rise. The little two-litre four-cylinder Toyotas are off and running. Tim Brooks to turn got the jump this time. So Cam Hill in the first race got a huge jump. Saying that, looks like Tim Brook missed a gear or something. But he's on the wrong side for turn one, Carl, and Hill will hang on now. Do they all make it through? Because... The first race for the first corner wasn't too bad earlier on in the day. I reckon with a field of 38, that's a pretty good job. That's a great job. We saw three wide through turns one and two. Up into turn three here, same again, exactly as the first race, three wide. That's John Goodacre in the white and green 86 a trying to get a move on wheel to Gary wheel Hull. Yeah, a little there. bit of rubbing, but that's racing. Hill out in front. Last year's Formula Ford National Series champion back on board with Glenn Seaton, who's trying to carve his way through. It's a wall of cars for Cito to deal with. Sweeper, turn one, the Dunlops are cold. 
hold. He's almost out to the edge of the circuit. He's using the curb. There's dirt and dust flying everywhere. Oh, boy, it is a wild, wild time in the 86s. He went for the big lunge up the inside, but it was defended. Defended really well on that first lap. Out front, again, it's Cam Hill, the pole man from qualifying. One race one is carrying it through in race two. Tim Brooks going with him. Will Brown's jumped to third. So David Suters, who is on double duty, is jumping backwards and forwards between the Toyotas and the V8 Utes. One off the road there. That's James Wilkins. Gets oh. going. He's down the tail of the field, though. All cars through. Will Brown, I reckon, he's going to be on a mission. He's learning every single time he's going out in this car. One of the most versatile young drivers uh, in the country at the moment, I, you know, in my opinion. Racing Formula 4 at the moment, racing, he raced Formula Ford last year, just gets, gets behind the wheel of anything he possibly can. This As we see Leanne Tander going for a move, up here. A move. Yeah, this is Cameron Crick up in front, son of the late great super truck champ Rodney Crick. It's great to have Cameron in this series. This is at the tail of the top 10. They're fighting for eighth and ninth position, but Leanne's defending as well because Gary Holt is right in behind her. Wide is Will Brown on the exit of turn three, and that's giving margin. Top two have cleared away. Yeah, a little mistake by Will, and in one of these cars, a little mistake by that like that can be very costly. He's lost a good three or four car lengths as a result of that, plus all the momentum that you're carrying. These cars turn into the sweeper, completely pinned, 100% throttle, and then just start lifting through the corner. Looking back through the pack, looking to see where our invited drivers are. That's Kane Baxter-Smith there in the red and black car. Oh, this tight. Ben Grice, car nine, trying to charge his way through. He was involved in an incident at that part of the circuit in race one earlier in the day. Replay of the start, you were right. Brooke made the initial launch really nicely, but then when they started fishing through the gears, Hill managed to claw him back and inside line at turn one. There's really only one way through there. No, you don't really want to be on the outside, especially after supercar qualifying. It's going to be a few tyre marbles and dust and everything on the outside of turn one. So pretty smart play there. This was Glenn Seaton carving through, getting a move on Graham Smith, trying to pick him off nice and early. He still gets the job done. Oh, yeah. He's, as he said, he's loving the challenge of these cars. And, uh, you know, despite the, the unfortunate situation of that first race, he just sees it as an opportunity to go out there, have some fun, pass some cars. Luke King covering their car 22 down the inside on John McCorkindale, who I think wins the award for the most standout coloured car. Lime green, that dial before you dig car. Aaron Seaton is just behind them. There's Cameron Crick and Leanne Tander. John Goodacre's next through. Adam Gowans in car 11, the former Aussie Racing Cars champ. We've got to go a little bit further back. There it is, the famous 17, Stephen Johnson's at the wheel. Position 24. Let's, oh, is this a good time? He's right among it. It's all going on. Hey, oh boy, Stephen, 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 this is a bit wild. It's all a little bit wild. I'm on the wrong side here, bugger. <laughs> Go to the, oh, too late, too late. I'm just, I'll just hang it in here. We've, we've come in at a, at a really ideal time for you. Don't, <laughs> let, let, don't let too many of them sneak past. I'll try not to. I'm trying to hang it in there. Here we go. Bit of an inside movie. Oh, a little tap there. That's all right. A little love tap. That's all right. Two in one move, mate. That's, that's a two Why are you one chatting deal? with the commentary team? You there got we some, go. As you said at the first race, you've got <laughs> some great spotters up here. I've got some awesome spotters. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be as good as I am. Right, next job, <laughs> next job. Pedal faster and catch that car in front. Let me get, uh, so your tip is brake later, get on the gas earlier, let me guess. Uh, you've been there, done that before, my friend. Yeah. Uh, no, mate, this is, what a great time I'm having here from the back. I'm thinking, oh, my work's going to be cut out here, but I've made up a few spots and I think I've kept it clean for the moment. OK, I've got a challenge for you, my friend. Not yep. the next car, but the one after is a bloke called Glenn Seaton. Go oh, and get him. I'll tell you what, I was eyeing him off on the start. I'm thinking, might be a bit hard to get the Super Cedo from back here, but I just need a safety car. Oh, I'm not sure we can help you with that one, mate. You're going to have to pedal on your own. You're, I'll having, tell you what. you're having a ball with these things. They're good fun. Oh, they are an absolute ball. Here we go. Oh, a bit of, oh, a bit of oversteer there, but ah, she's good. Um, yeah, awesome. Really good. It's just uh, oh, a little bit wide there. Sorry, fellas. Here we go. Cedar horse. Cedar's coming back to me. I've got my eyes on it. Can you punch me into Cedo somehow? <laughs> oh, I don't think that would be a wise idea for any of us right about now. <laughs> uh, we're going all right here. The, 
Still got a bit of damage actually from the first race. The steering wheel's a little bit off to the right, That's but oh, it's a little bit slidey through there. I was but going to ask you how the car was balanced. It looks a lot pointier than the first race. <laughs> it is a little bit. Oh, but hey, we go in. Big move. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's, that is commitment. There we go. I love just... the conviction there, Steve. Mate, I'm, I'm trying to get a V8 supercar drive here for this talent. Oh, so... this, this young emerging Queenslander's going <laughs> OK. <laughs> I'll tell you what, yeah, well, I wouldn't have as much grey hair if I didn't work with my parents for so long. <laughs> They're watching. Be careful. <laughs> the next, <laughs> next car down the road is Glenn Seat in car 36. Okay. So you've got an incentive. Your old DJR teammate ahead. All right, well, we'll see what we... We're catching him, so have we got my high beams on? Can you see if I got the high beams on? There we're, we go. We're, we're riding on board with you. Uh, we can see what you can see, so we've got no oh. chance. We're going to get out of here. You concentrate on the job. Right, hey, thanks a lot, fellas. Yeah, thanks for your time, Steve. Good luck no for problem. the rest of it. Thanks, boys. Appreciate it.